In this video, I'll show you what the pulled standard deviation is. I'll also show you how to calculate it. The pulled standard deviation is a weighted average of standard deviations for two or more groups. The individual standard deviations are averaged with more weight being given to larger sample sizes. Once the pulled standard deviation has been calculated, SD pulled is used in place of the standard deviation in the formula for standard error. Along with an updated degrees of freedom formula, the idea is that you'll be able to get a better model for the sampling distribution of the sample mean. Pulled standard deviations are used in many areas in statistics. Those include effect size calculations, t-tests and ANOVAs. They're also used in sciences like biology and chemistry where they can be an indication for repeatability of an experiment. You have a couple of options for calculating pulled standard deviation. The simplest is for two samples. The SD1 is the standard deviation for group 1, and SD2 is the standard deviation for group 2. Come in to give us another formula, and I'm including it here for reference. There doesn't seem to be any clear benefit to using this one rather than the first one. For three or more groups, use this formula. S sub 1, S sub 2 and so on are the individual samples and S squared the sample standard deviations. For example, S sub 1 squared is the sample standard deviation for the first sample. N is the number of measurements in each sample and you subtract K which is the number of samples. If you have equal sample sizes, you can simplify that formula even further. It becomes this formula. In order to use these formulas to pull your standard deviations, your population standard deviations must be the same. If they are not the same, then it's a violation of the assumption of homogeneity of variances. If your standard deviations are different, You'll want to run hedges G or glasses delta instead. Let's take a look at an example. Our sample data here has two samples. Sample 1 has 20 items and sample 2 also has 20. The sample standard deviation is 3 for sample 1 and 4 for sample 2. Note that our sample standard deviations are different. That's to be expected any time you take a sample. And these sample standard deviations don't have to be the same. However, your population standard deviations must be the same. So now we have our data. Let's plug that information into the formula. Sample 1 has 20 items, minus 1, that's 19, and we multiply that by the sample standard deviation. Then we add sample 2 with 20 items, minus 1, that's 19, and we multiply that by the sample standard deviation of 4. For the denominator, we add the two sample sizes and subtract k, which is 2. That represents our two samples. When I figure this out on a calculator, and I'm using SimpleLab Solver here, I get 3.54. Now, I use the most usual formula, which is the one we just worked through, but as I mentioned before, we could have used this alternate formula because we have equal sample sizes. Let's go back to SimbaLab and change our formula. I'm going to add our two standard deviations together. That was 3 and 4. And we want k in the denominator. That's the number of samples. And this was 2. The solution is the same answer as we got with the extended formula. 
The long formula is sometimes required by professors, but just know that a simplified version exists if your sample sizes are the same. I hope you found the video helpful. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.